I have a joke for you. What is a skeleton's favorite snack? I, I, I don't know. Go on, guess. Uh, death? <laughs> no. Go on, guess. I, 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 I don't know. Why are you laughing? I haven't told the punchline yet. <laughs> I, I, what is a skeleton's favorite snack? I, it's... Why won't you answer me? <laughs> ribs! Spare ribs! Ah! All right, my friends, what is up? Welcome to the Money Video here on Cool Stuff Inc. Dot com. I got a spicy one for you today. Now, of course, the World Championships happened about a week and a half ago. Really, really exciting event, honestly. 16 players. Uh, Yu Takahashi, unbelievable. Starts off 0-3 in the tournament. Doesn't lose again on way to winning the trophy. So, big congrats to Yuta. Uh, insane event. And Yuta played uh, Is It Dragons. Kind of a, a, a... While it is a very popular deck, kind of like an old, older popular deck. And uh, took the field kind of by storm. Beat Teamer Treasures in the finals, so two kind of cool decks there. Very exciting event, super, super cool. But what I want to see today is uh, slightly under the uh, under the covers of Worlds here. Uh, a deck that was almost played by Andre Strasky, who of course had a great run of a tournament. Um, not playing this deck, but Andre uh, posted on Twitter saying that he was very much considering playing this deck. And what is this deck? This is a Demolich deck. A Demolich, Mythic Rare from... Forgotten Realms, blue, 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 blue. It's a mana cost. 4-3 Skeleton Wizard. This spell costs one blue less for each instant and sorcery spell you've cast this turn. Whenever it attacks, you can exile a instant or sorcery card from your graveyard. You can copy it and cast it. And you may cast it from your graveyard by exiling four instant and or sorcery cards from your graveyard in addition to paying its other costs. So a lot going on here. A lot going on here. We have a creature you can cast in the graveyard. We have a creature that can cost nothing if you cast four spells in one turn, and a creature that can also allow you to flash back your spells in the graveyard as well. So, really, really, really cool card. Very, very powerful. And this is the kind of synergy deck you don't usually see in standard. More of like a modern kind of deck. We're playing an absolute ton of cantrips. Consider. Uh, we're playing otherworldly gaze. One blue. Look at the top three. Mill any amount that you want, and it's flashback. Most time you'll be milling, milling most of them. We have four strategic planning, look at the top three, keep one, rush in the graveyard. Four curate, look at the top two, put in the graveyard, draw a card. Tons and tons of cheap spells here. Uh, with the goal being to dump a Demolich in the graveyard, and then cast multiple spells in a turn, Arclight Phoenix style, and then cast Demolich for, you know, one blue or zero mana, which is a really, really good deal, obviously. And uh, you can keep casting it over and over again. And once Demolich is in play, you get to attack with it, flashback spells from your graveyard, flashback Tempted of the Auric, or Auron's Epiphany, or even just a Curate, or Consider, just draw a card, maybe to rest too. So, really, really cool deck here. Again, you know, seeing this amount of spells, this amount of cheap spells in a standard deck is pretty uncommon, uh, which makes the deck really, really cool. So, very excited to play this deck, very excited to see it in action. But first, we work from our sponsor at CoolStuffInc.com. Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. Alright, let's rock and roll and put some skeletons into the graveyard and out of the graveyard. Alright, so... Gaze Curate Planning, Tempted Blood Pact. Blood Pact, a pretty interesting one of. Um, not the most powerful card, but, you know, Divination's fine, I guess. We can keep this. Keep this. And our opponent plays a Paladin class and says go. So we're going to be under an unbelievable amount of pressure here from a White Weenie deck, most likely. And uh, unfortunately, they have a number of cards that are good against us. We'll see what we can do. Uh, we're going to play an Island here. I'm going to cast the Gaze right now, because obviously it'll cost more in their turn. And we're going to bin... Probably both non-lands here. Yeah, we're going to bin both, bin both spells. We could just bin the land, too, and just try and dig deeper. We uh, do have two more cantrips. Yeah, this is fine. I should just bin all three. Our goal is just to, to get to Demulich as soon as possible. 
Just keep burning through our deck until we find a Demolich, and then go from there. Usher the Fallen on turn two. That's not too bad for us. We draw a Duress, which is probably going to be blank against them. They have very, very few hits for it. Um, don't think it's worth casting. And we're going to play a Clearwater Pathway. We're going to play it on blue. Um, we want to make sure we have all the blue symbols in play for our Demolich and for Tempted by the Orc. And uh, we're casting a Cantrip anyway, so let's cast Planning. And we reveal Consider Restoration Planning. And I think I would want to just bin all these. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, this is not a, uh, a thingy. Uh, we're going to keep... Uh, Gonna keep we can keep the land or the consider. I don't want to take three off a land really. So we're gonna keep consider. Next turn we'll go curate, find a land, play consider. Setting up for Tempted of the Orc should be very, very good. Elite Spellbinder, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Feels like a, a difficult matchup here. They're just very, very fast. You know, mono green's a little slower. You know, they're they hit really hard, but they take a little longer to get going. Mono white's actually like pretty fast and disruptive too. The cards like Elite Spellbinder and Friends, so. We'll see uh, how this goes here. Of course, our cards all cost one more because of the Paladin class, so no Duress does not cost two on our turn, so no worries there. Gotta imagine. It's gonna be Epiphany, wow. Tented by the Orc feels like feels like the best card in our hand. You know, but... Alright, so we draw another Curate. So, fire up a Curate here. And no lands. We're gonna bin both non-lands. And... Get punished. Alright, so we get punished there. A little bit greedy trying to keep the spells going. I didn't want to take three off of the, uh, off the other, off the, uh, the Boldy land. And now we're just going to pop off here. Maybe miss a land drop too. So we're probably dead this game, unfortunately. Um, yeah, miss another land drop too. Yeah, we're, I think we're just super dead here. Uh, curate again. And, I mean, they have a bunch of power in play. They have a Paladin Glad. Yeah, they, we're just, we're just dead. So, yeah. So, obviously... Missing a land drop against the White Weenie deck on the play. Not how you want to start your uh, your day here on CoolStuffInc.com. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. He's dead on turn five. Not cool. Not cool. But we get Cyborg here. And we get to bring in uh, Flunk. Uh, power Word kills for days. Tempted by the Auric. Infernal Grasp is like... I hate taking damage, but I guess it's fine. And as far as cuts, uh, all four Duress are going to come out. And we're also going to cut uh, the concerted defenses. Don't do too much either. Blood packs don't really want to take damage. And then soul shatter is fine. I could see bringing in the soul shatter, but I don't really see a card I want to cut. So should be much better off here. Uh, these duresses and concerted defenses do basically nothing against them. So we just took out six blank cards for six removal spells, which should be pretty good for us. So that should be. A good place to be. Let's start. Let's go here. Now we can kill some stuff and not miss a land drop and be on the play. So all those things being in our favor should help things out a lot. Unfortunately, they actually have some good answers to uh, to Demolich, of course. They have uh, Sky Clay Apparition, which can exile the Demolich. But... Alright, uh, a, a fine hand, not a great hand. We're going to keep this. I think, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to cast the Gaze. Gaze is a little interesting because like, it is really cheap. And you want to set up that turn where you just chain a bunch of spells together. Um, so we don't necessarily want to cast it on turn one always, but yeah, we're going to play it and play one drop. Oh, we're going to cast it. Cast it, and we're going to bin Demolich. Awesome. And now the question is, do I want to keep the second gaze? I don't think so. We should have bin it. So bin all three. And we'll say, uh, throw that. Tend by the work. Great draw. Now it's pretty interesting because I, I kind of want to force spike here. But we should tend to buy the orcs, so drawing lands is pretty good too. I'm gonna try and force spike. Play lands, there you go. We could always end step gaze. Nothing good to force spike here. Force spike being Jawari disruption, of course. Draw my non boomers out there. If they just want to activate the Usher of the Fall, we can just play, play gaze. So, sure, great. As long as we have things to do, no problem. Ooh, man. Uh, I mean, all these cards are pretty good. Uh, I kind of want to keep all of them, honestly. Tented by the Orc is just so good. I'm going to keep the Power Word Kill and the, the, the Tented by the Orc. And uh, we'll draw Power Word Kill next turn. And you know what? I'm supposed to force Bike as a land. I think. Tempted by the Orc. It's on top of our deck. Um... 
So I don't want to cast Gaze again because I know our top card. But I would like to play Tented by the Orc next turn. Yeah, alright. Play Force Bike as a land. So you go. We can always Fading Hope if I feel like we have to, but... And even if they have a spell, Elite Spellbinder here, we can uh, Tented by the Orc off the top of our deck and steal it. They play a spell, or they get to ride the usher here. They can play a clarion spirit. That's pretty good. But no second spell. Interesting. Okay. Untap. And uh, we're just going to steal clarion spirit. We are pretty good at playing multiple spells, so I'll take that. And say go. On the face, you can block the 1-1, one -one, which is great. And then uh, we get to untap. Start playing two spells in a turn. That's pretty awesome as well. I do love Clarion Spirit. I'm not going to lie. Redain, God of the Worthy. That does make our Tented by, tent by the Orc cost a lot more. Now, we draw a Consider, which means we're very close to casting Demolition Mark Graveyard for free. If we can just find one more... I guess we would need... That's eh, close. We, we, we can't draw a land and a one mana spell, so it would be pretty difficult, actually. So we can just set up for... We can honestly just, like, consider... I'm sorry, uh, Power Word Kill, the Redeen, and then Gaze. Try and set up for next turn. Obviously can't cast can't cast Tempted by the Orc. Nothing really good to Fading Hope here. Fading Hope's probably better against Mono Ring, because you bounce our tokens, but... Alright, let's cast Gaze. Gaze will reveal Land, Consider, Restoration. I definitely want this Consider. I'm going to bin the other two, though. I want the Land, too, though, honestly. I actually leave both those on top. Put the Consider on top. And just Power Word the Ordain. Make a token. And say go. And now next turn I can Consider into Land, into Consider, into Fading Hope, into Cast Demolich. Can also just cast Tented by the Orc if we feel like we need to just do that. Luminarch Aspirant is pretty good. Luminarch Aspirant. That one's pretty good. Um, some interest in stealing one of those. They're going to pump up the token up, which makes our Fading Hope look a lot better, which is cool. So now the question is, do I want to just tempted by the Orc one of these Luminarch Aspirants and take that route? Or try and get Demolition play this turn? I can go Consider, Consider, Fading Hope. And unfortunately, the Black Source is hurting us a little bit here. Uh, I'm going to always take a turn off. Just play Tempted by the Orc. Play Tempted. Steal the Illuminarch Aspirant. I'm going to pump, uh, I think, the Clarion Spirit. And then just say go. Card's awesome. Super cool card. Tempted by the Orc. They're going to fly in here. Wow. That's aggressive. They're going to pump up their Usher of the Fallen. I think I might just block here. I mean, this is blocking here, I think, for sure. I might just trade Clarion Spear for Usher here. Then we can bounce, unsummon the, uh, unsummon the Warrior. I suppose the problem is then their uh, cave can start getting in a lot, though. Hmm. Like, next turn's Demolich. Unsummon the Warrior. So the question is, do I want to keep Clarion Spear in play? I guess I probably do, honestly. Now the question is, is taking six okay? I think taking six is okay too, also, honestly. Let's just do this. This is fine. Let's just take six. Alright, so there's your land. So we're gonna go. So we're gonna consider. We actually fading hope burst to the scribe. Fading hope this. Top card's a land. Scribe bottom. Consider. Fire and spirit token. Consider in the graveyard. Uh no, I think we're just gonna keep consider. Consider's pretty good. We got two demo coming this turn. Power word kill. You want that card in the graveyard? Uh no, we're gonna cast that one actually. So draw that one. Play as land, power word kill targeting Luminarch Aspirant. 
And then we get the old Demi Lich. We're going to exile, uh, let's see here. Seagate, Salon Division, Consider, and Fading Hope. And then cast the one from our hand. And then put a counter on. Let's see. Probably a Demolich so it can block Usher the Fallen. Tie for three, four. We have our flying blocker for the cave. We have ground blockers for the Usher. And we want to tap with the Demolich so we can start casting spells like a crazy person, just cast power word kill, ended by the orc, etc. etc. So Alright, Paladin class is a little bit annoying. Because they can pump the Usher up to get through my Demolich, but I can just block anyway, it's not a big of a deal. Once we untap with Demolich, start attacking, casting two spells a turn, I think we're in good shape, so. Sure, so they attack. Let's block and trade with the smaller one. And now we are ready to rock and roll. Yep, make a 2 2, no big deal. Untap Otherworldly Gaze. It's a good place to start for our Demolich. Um, let's just start there. See what turns up. Another Demolich. Um, just bin all three, honestly. So we're going to cast a spell off, off Demolich anyway. And there you go, sure. So pretty sweet game there. Pretty sweet game, of course. That was a little more what we're trying to do here. Get to like make our third land drop and play some spells. So uh, Tented by the Orc, fantastic. Demolich, just a really cool card. Like it, it's such a weird looking card. Like it, I think when you look at the card, it's like clear that the card is very, very powerful, but it's also not entirely clear how should you, you, you should use it. Uh, the blue, 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 blue cost is fairly daunting. You gotta put spells in your deck. You gotta, you gotta be able to make use of the flashback effect also. So, it's a lot of things going on. Definitely a very cool standard card. Alright, game three. And on the drop. It's two lander. But uh, we do have a Blood Chief Source and a, a Tented by the Oryx. We're gonna keep this. We can go turn one Marsh. Turn two Thirst Vision Tabs. Or draw a path. The thing here, though, is that I think that having a... Putting, like, a swamp in play, like a black-only land, is a pretty big cost. So... I think I want to just wait here. I'm just going to play a Marsh instead of go. Next turn can be Slundy Tapped and Blood Chief's Thirst. We got Attack with Usher. Alright. So... Not the most exciting turn two there for our opponent. We are going to play Vision as a land. Thirst the Fallen. Here we have our third land queued up. We have Tented by the Aura queued up. I suppose the Spellbinder would be a little annoying here. Cool. I don't know why I talk. Now I imagine we're supposed to take Tented by the Orc, but... No, Epiphany again. Opponent is very, very scared of Epiphany. Epiphany is obviously fine in this deck, but, you know, it's more so to cast in the graveyard later. All right, so we draw a Demolich, unfortunately. Um, would love that, that one on top of our deck. But, all right, so we are going to play... I guess we're going to... Yeah, play land. Cast Planning. Planning will find us a land, a Curate, or a Force Spike. Take the land here. And then... Now it's interesting is like, I don't know if we're going to cast this Gaze on their turn or not, because again, I want to keep cheap spells for Demolich. All right, Redain, God of the Worthy. It does make our Tempted cost more, which kind of sucks. Now I think we need to look for a rule spell, so we're going to cast the, uh, the Gaze. Tempted, consider land. We're going to bin all three. And draw a planning. All right. So planning me for our removal spell, please. There you go. Power word kill. Play land. And we'll say go here. We can just kill Redain in combat. Taking some hits here. Taking some hits. You know, um, casting tempted by the orc next turn is going to be a pretty big deal. And play a clarion spirit. Sure. Do they have a second spell? No. Interesting. Go to nine. All 
and play a Paladin class. Okay. Fading Hope, not a bad draw. Um, three, four. The problem is now our life total is like pretty low. It's going to be hard to survive this turn. Four, five, six, seven, eight. If the Haven comes in too. Um, it sucks. If we have one more land, we can go Tempted Fading Hope, which I think would be an insane turn for us, but we're like a little short on that. Might have come up a little bit short this game. Might have come up a little bit short this game. Um, if I steal a Clarion Spirit, they have three, four, five, six, seven. They have exactly nine. They have exactly nine to kill us if we, if we steal the Clarion Spirit. Um, we could, like, curate, find a land, Fading Hope, cast Demolich. Which isn't ideal, but... All right, let's just try that, I guess. All right, so keep the land. Play land. Fading hoping a token really sucks, but just is what it is, I guess. Get our scry on. Strategic planning. I think I need to do better than that. Bottom that. Play Demolich and say, yo. Yeah, I would say this does seem like a pretty difficult matchup. Um, yeah, this guy glaive too, sure. Because like they're they're much they're the fastest deck in the format as far as getting under people. And they just have a really, really good answer to Demolich in Skyclave Apparition, which like sucks for us. Um Yeah, we're just dead. Uh Tented by the Orcus, unfortunately they're tapped, and then we're at three, so Alright, it's a tough first game there. Tough first game. That's okay though. Feels like the worst possible matchup, I would say. Um much, much worse than Mono Green, which is the more prevalent aggro deck. So, oh one. Round two, round two. On the play. And it's fine, and it's fine. Fading Hope, Curate, Planning, Demolich. I think that we're gonna play Force Spike as a land. It seems like making our land drops is really important in this deck. We really gotta make all our land drops to cast all of our spells, so just play Force Spike as a land. Let's see what they're up to. Frosty. Shatter Skull of the Hammer Pass. Okay. Play Blue Source, play Planning. And Shatter Skull of the Hammer Pass. I mean, it's possible they're not. I guess we'll put the demo in our hand. Like, Blood Chief's Thirst is kind of whatever. We don't know if it's going to be good against them or not. They could, they could just be an all spell deck. And then Seagate Restoration is a land, technically, but I think I want Demolich in my hand because we already have, or we don't have the uh, the resources to return one. Yeah, I think we will have the resources to return one. Yeah, let's take Restoration, actually. Let's take the land. Bin Demolich. Let's go. Next turn can be Curate. All right, so they play a Snarl. Not a lot of info there. We draw a Blood Pact, which is not a terrible card to play on their end step. Um, also the option to Restoration and Curate. Want to keep the one mana spells for returning Demolich's next turn. I think we're going to play a Restoration tapped and just say, yeah. Like, I think that if we want to play this untapped, it forces us to bolt this land in later. It's a lot of damage. Iteration, sure. We're not exactly sure what's going on yet either, so... So of course, blue red lands iteration could be a number of things. Is it dragons? It could be a more a more epiphany focused deck. It can be anything in the the spectrum of that range. So play island, sure. And step cast curate. Consider and duress. Uh, I actually want both of those. That's actually really really good. So that's four. Well, one minus. We can't cast the fading hope as a spell, unfortunately. But we're going to keep these. We're going to draw a Consider first. And they are discarding the hand size? Wow. Alright, let's fire up Duress. Just start right there and see what happens. So, Duressia. And they are, yeah, full on. Of, oh, they have, have Goldspan too. They have Goldspan also. Alright, uh, Dragon's Fire, Divide by Zero, Thundering Rebukes. A lot of removal here. A lot of removal. 
not a lot of lands. They're actually don't have a, have a fourth land right now. So we could take Smashing and try and just like hamstring them a little bit. Which I kind of like, actually. Yeah, because we, they have two removal spells. Can't take one of those. A pet doesn't really matter. Daylight is a little slow. I'm taking the land here. A little aggressive, a little aggressive. But let's cast the Otherworldly Gaze. And we're going to put all three in the graveyard. We're going to cast a Consider. We're going to bin the Swamp and try and draw a one mana blue spell. That's castable, of course. Island. Uh, okay, so we'll just cast Demolich for one. Which is fine. Not, I would have preferred to obviously play uh, all three Demoliches here, but that's not possible. That's okay. So, one mana Demolich. They can kill it or bounce it, but it will take their entire turn. We can just get it get going again next turn. Graveyard's already pretty stocked. Not crazy stocked, but pretty stocked. Could upkeep a uh, an otherworldly gaze, but I think we're a little light on resources to actually... Uh, you know, they drew a land. That's the rest pretty sick. We draw another Fading Hope, unfortunately. So a little bit rough on that end. Um, we are going to cast a main phase Blood Pact. Because we could have just, like, you just cast Gaze and cast Demolich, honestly. Just get it in play again and kind of go from there. Force him to keep answering it. It's probably better. Cast Gaze. And we have a lot of Force Spikes. I'm going to ship all three of these. Keep filling that graveyard up. Play Island and Demolich. Let's go. So by doing this, they can kill it, but they're a little stuck on mana, so it forces them to use their mana to, to kill my thing rather than uh, advance their board. Science is for a land. There's land number five for them, which is pretty good, which is pretty good. And now they need to probably rebuke this. Skeleton Wizard. Their hand is very good. Their hand is very good. They were a little short on lands, and unfortunately they've uh, they've popped to uh, pop the important lands here. They're gonna let us have the Demolich. That's pretty awesome. Um, so we can cast like a duress for free here and then play a bunch more demoliches. Kinda can't actually because we just don't have castable spells because all the Fading Hopes are obviously... I guess we could Fading Hope our own Demolish, then in response, Fading Hope our Demolish again, then recast it, which is kind of cool. Um, so I think we're actually going to not cast Duress here. I think we're just going to cast the Cantrip and try and put a bunch of, put a bunch of Demolishes into play. Let's attack. Let's target our Consider. Cast it. Top card's a grave, uh, land, put it in the graveyard. Draw another land, sure. All right, um, so let's cast Blood Pact. Duress. That was actually a pretty good draw. So now we can play a Swamp. We can Duress them. And take uh, this they have Deluge, Fire, Rebuke, Divide by Zero. I think I like taking Dragon's Fire. It's the card they can cast off Goldspan Dragon at present. I guess I can post combat cast Rebuke. That's fine too, I think. I think they have plenty of gas, so just like try and remove their uh, interaction. And then we're going to Fading Hope our own Demolich here. And then recast all of the Demoliches. Let's remove uh, Salundi Vision, Disruption, Defense, Tempted by the Orc. And Blood Chief Thirst, one of the Duresses. I kind of want to keep Fading Hope, actually. Blood Pact and, I guess, Curate. 
I said I have I have a fading hope in hand, so I can just play that one too. Yeah, this is fine. All right. All right. Now we are uh, we are skellied up here. We are skellied up with three demoliches in play. And guess to rest, to curate, and planning. And now they're up on the eight ball. They obviously have an epiphany and a goldspan dragon, which is not you know that is the uh, those are the good cards in standard. That is for sure. So we'll see if we can. Uh, Avoid catastrophe, but play a spike field cave as a land. Play Goldspan Dragon, sure. Here comes the Dargan. And they can rebuke one of my three Demoliches here. And we get to kill their dragon too. Or just bounce it at least. Cast Rebuke, sure. Alright, so untap. We draw a marsh. They have Divide by Zero and Deluge. We probably want to cast a duress. Like, duress planning here, probably. Yeah. So it's attack. Target duress. Target planning. Cast planning. Um, we're going to use the black. We have a black in our hand, too. And we're going to take the curate, which is pretty sweet. And then we're going to cast the planning. I'm sorry, the duress, I mean. Duress them for black. We're going to take the divide by zero. Because I think we're... Like, give them the illusions that they wanted. And then we're going to deal our damage. Going to cast curate. For spike. I'm just going to bin both these. Yeah, bin both of these. Draw otherworldly gaze. It's pretty cool. We can hold that though, because we have enough spells. Remember right there much anyway, so. Unsummon this, which is not obviously ideal, but better than nothing. They get a treasure. Um they attack. I guess if they attack and draw a land, they can play Epiphany, but like, I what are we gonna do? You know, <laughs> like And then we're gonna exile disruption. Um I guess. Restoration, curate. I want to keep the fading hope. I guess curate. It's kind of. Yeah, I want to keep fading hope to bounce dragon if we have to. Let's get rid of the otherworldly. I guess it kind of sucks, but we have one in our hands, so. All right. Triple demolich. You are up. I gotta cast this gaze first, maybe, to just give me more options for uh, things to exile, but. Alright, so they're gonna play up Infinity with no dragon in play, which is like the best case scenario for us. It's still good, but it's not like crazy good. They drew a land, but it was a tap land, so fortunate for us it was a tap land, they couldn't go dragon into a Piffany there, we should probably, probably lose in that case. There's dragon again. A little hard for them to attack too aggressively here. Uh, Alright, they're going to attack the dragon, so... I guess they have some mana to work with. We do have one on summon in our graveyard. One more would be lethal, if not if they did nothing else. They have Goldspan Dragon number two. Man, yeah, Goldspan Dragon's pretty good. End step gaze. Ooh. Two can play at that game. Uh, put these in the graveyard. We can actually bin the Epiphany and just cast it off a Demolich, so it's too bad. Bin all three. And Fading Hope also. This is uh, pretty close to killing them. I think they're just dead with the uh, our time walk too, so play this. Fading Hope, a token. Uh, bottom of Duress. Attack step, attack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they're all going to target the Epiphany, because we're only going to cast the Epiphany. So, Epiphany, Epiphany, yeah. Cool. That was sweet. Two can play at that game, my friend. All right, so we're going to uh, do a little sideboarding here. They seem to be a pretty standard Is It Dragon's deck. Bring in our Flunk. Is it Flunk? It's definitely Infernal Grasp. Infernal Grasp and Soul Shatter. Um, don't know if they're playing Egg or not, unfortunately. Fading Hope is not super great against them. Uh, Disable Stroke is pretty good. 
Let's see. What are we cutting here? What are we cutting? Uh, tempted by the orc. Not too good. I like these strokes. Concerted defense is fine. This card's like kind of sketch, honestly. Um, I'm a little surprised this card's like even in the deck, but Strasky's a lot better magic player than I am, so we're going to bin one or two fading hopes. They're not really particularly great. They're not proactive enough. Uh, Blood Pact. Yeah, Blood Pact seems good against the like more epiphany focus version, but the actual dragon version seems tough. Flunked, Estet, Elance, Hermit. A lot of pressure in a deck like this, similar to Arclight Phoenix, to like have all spells. So you see only one Hermit in the board. Uh, it's just hard because you just can't have that many uh, non uh, non instant or sorcery spells in your deck. But Thirst is pretty bad. Uh, but we do need to be able to kill Goldspan Dragon. It does do that. And also they could easily just have eggs in their deck. So I think this is fine. Test of Talents is obviously good against Epiphany, but not good against the Dragons, whereas Stroke handles both. So... I think I am fine here. Let me do this. Alright. And, uh... It's an okay hand. I've seen better. I've seen better, but... I think we're gonna keep it. Alright, so Salon Division go. Right, they are playing Smoldering Egg, so we have Fading Hope. We can chill on that. Just play this and play uh, a planning here. Defense is weird too because like it's also not a proactive spell you can cast, which is kind of weird. But Duress, uh, Duress ain't bad. I think we're running Duress here. Demo in the bin, and then we already have Curate stuff. Yeah, this is good. We can set up for duress plus like another uh, another egg, another egg and a land. All right, so a good start for them. We draw a consider. So we now have enough one mana spells where, in theory, next turn we could go spell, 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 and cast demolishes, but that means we can't really do anything this turn. Which is a bit scary. Um, we could like foretell the epiphany and just kind of use our mana that way. We have hope, duress, consider, consider. So we could also cast gaze end step too, try to set up for a fourth land, which isn't bad either. Also have defense up. Yeah, we're gonna just, just suspend here until we go we go for a big a big turn next turn. Unfortunately, we have no answer to the egg at present, and there are two of them, so if they manage to play a spell or two and flip these, things can get pretty nasty, but we can fade and hope one of them, and hopefully find another removal spell. Obviously, Gaze will look us at a, give us a look at the top few cards here. So, land, blue, red. Interesting. Fortel, sure. Obviously, do not want to allow our opponent to cast an Epiphany with two eggs in play, but... All right, so end step, gaze. Test the talents, a possible card here. Uh, okay. I would say we want land and fading hope, honestly. We uh, we could just draw a land, though. We're, gonna, we're, we're playing multiple considers this turn. So I can go like, hmm. I guess we just want, we just take the land, right? Uh, so we can go, like, next turn can be Duress, Consider, Hope, Hope. Kind of like that. Let's keep, let's keep both these. So, bin that. Keep these. Alright, so, start with the Duress. Big tank. Big tank. Nope. They're gonna... What? <laughs> They're going to Fading Hope their own Smoldering Egg. But why? Like, I don't understand. I always get a Fading Hope your Smoldering Egg. They're going to top, okay. And their hand is Dissipate, Smashing, Egg. So they're playing just the, the world's winning list, uh, Takahashi's list. The one Dissipate, okay. Um, 
It's funny. I, I think we should just maybe take the land here because we can play around Dissipate. We also have Concerted Defense player on Dissipate also. Um, it's kind of... And I have to assume that this card that they foretold is a Epiphany, and I want to keep them off of Epiphany if possible. And they'll have to replay the eggs too. I'm taking the land here. Take the land. I'm going to cast a Consider. Uh, put, draw this card. Demolish costs two. Uh, play land. Play another Consider. A Duress. Um... Now, we actually just draw to rest, I think, and hold on to our Fading Hopes. So, decline to put that one in the graveyard. Cast to rest. Take Dissipate. And cast the old Demi. Hope their card isn't the one Demon Bolt. So, we're going to get rid of a Consider, a Duress, a Curate, and I guess a second Duress, too, honestly. I think they're we're pretty good on Duresses here. So, cast the old Demi, and say go. They play a Snarl. And now four Spike on Ep Epiphany is also great too, so I think we're in great shape here. We draw a land. We can cast Planning and still have Hope, Hope, Defense up. That is awesome. One mana off Epiphany too. And I said, what about... Another Epiphany. Uh, it's funny, because putting an Epiphany in the graveyard is pretty good too, actually. So we take a land here. We just cast a Demolich, so hit it before. And play Marsh, and just so you go. No reason to bounce these yet. Um, we have defense for Epiphany. We have other world gaze to flash back if nothing else is going on. They're going to play an Iteration, uh, which is pretty good. Add some counters. Do some stuff. All right, so they found their lands now, and unfortunately, if they draw another land, they can uh, cast the Epiphany through the defense, but draw a kill spell, too. Mm, doesn't look like it. End step. Gaze. Dragon's Fire. All right, pretty good. Pretty good. And Soul Shatter, Restoration, Planning. So we keep Planning. We can go Planning, Bounce, Bounce, One Mana Demolich with Defense up. I like that. We'll bin the Soul Shatter too, which is fine. Keep Planning. Untap, Cast Planning. Put any of these in my hand. Uh, on the land, honestly. Right? Yeah. Me land. Another Demolich. We're gonna go land. Bounce Smoldering Egg. Scry Restoration. Uh, we're not casting that next turn. Bottom that. And then bounce this. Planning's good. You can keep that one. And then just go demi demi, and now they can now they can play epiphany if they want to, but it's a negative epiphany. So uh, hope hope for spike restoration. Uh, I can cast two of these, right? Yeah, I guess it's, it's my entire graveyard to do this. Hmm. Is it worth the entire graveyard? I think it is. We have an epiphany. Uh. In foretell zone and are planning on top to rebuild. And if they play their own Epiphany, they can play a land and we can't force spike it anyway. Yeah, I'll just play a Demolich here. It sucks to lose our Epiphany in the graveyard, but... Defense can also defend our Epiphany in theory. They go like Egg, Egg, Try and Test and Talent, something like that, so... Demolich do work. Demolish doing work. All right, there's your epiphany. So it didn't draw a land, could have four spiked it, but I think having threats in play is more important. Make sure it's half land, sure. And now, like, now what, you know? 
egg. As long as I don't cast an Ivany with egg or gold span in play, it's not that bad. Alright, so egg, egg. And they have three mana, so unfortunately they have test talents we can't planning. Oh, it's a wizard, never mind. We can defense and counter their, uh, their spell, too. We did it! We did it! It's a party. It's a party. Alright, so yeah, we have no spells in the graveyard. Uh, play land. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, you know, it's not the best uh, demo attack of all time, but sure. There's still four threes. Alright, here you go. Show me its est of talents, please. Aw. Sure. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Consider curate disruption. Uh. Oh, I consider. Let's cast it, cast it again, cast it again, cast it again. Bin the disruption, draw a duress, cast duress. No epiphany, wow, that would have been pretty sick actually. That was a pretty uh, pretty wild one. Alright, and uh, alright, sure. Sweet, that was a sick match. That was that was a pretty impressive uh showing, honestly. The old skelly uh the old skelly belly. One one. Alright. Let's keep rocking here with the old skelly. Feel like if it was a a Pro Tour or a Grand Prix, Strasky would have definitely played this deck. But it's a pretty big risk to uh you know, the world championships is, uh, there really is no other. That's it. You know, that's just, that's the top. There's no more, uh, beyond that. So a little bit risky, you know? All right. So kind of awkward here. because we want to cast four spike and duress, but just play land tapped here and say, go, I should play the restoration. Actually, that's stupid. So I don't, I don't want to rest this turn. Pack leader. All right. Marsh again. Yeah. All right. Let's play this. So hopefully that'll go land two drop. That would stink. A second back leader here would be devastating. Perfect. And Duress is actually pretty good against Mono Green. Almost all their clutch cards are uh, are Duressable. So, Duressia. Their hand is Chariot, Tracker, Mammoth. Unfortunately, our next four spike will not be good. We're a little behind here, actually. We don't have any rule spells either, so... A little bit of a tough hand. Um, need a little help. Needs a little help. We do have his blood packed though, so thank thank you for that. So they attack and play a uh, mammoth here because they might have drawn a land, and we might just be in trouble. Here. That was a great draw. All right, all right, we're good. Never mind. We drew the removal spell, folks. Thank God. Right. I still I still need some help though. Um, Four spikes, probably not doing much anymore. Duress is also basically blank at this point in the game. And uh, as a big, mean elephant. The good news is not drawing cards, though. So they're, like, a little low on resources. Um, play tracker. All right, thankfully it wasn't, like, running six. I think running six would have been good, but no. They drew a chariot there. We were in big trouble, so. Play tracker. Make a clue. We are dead on board, so we do have some pressure to actually do something this turn, but... Play Blood Pact. Definitely not the matchup for Blood Pact. <laughs> uh, planning, consider. All right. Restoration, also not good. I think we're in trouble, folks. Just saying, I think we're in trouble. Consider, 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 consider. Uh, so I want to keep it consider, try and chain them and play a uh, Demolich. So consider. Fading Hope. Ah. Uh Maybe we need to keep that one, actually. Just bounce Mammoth and buy buy some time. Yeah, that seems probably prudent. Uh, all right. Play this. Play land, say go. Unfortunately, like... These secret restorations are also pretty bad here. Uh, we're just lacking in things to uh, to kind of get things going. All right, there's a land. Thankfully, all their lands suck. They haven't drawn any creature lands, which is good for us. So, a fire up fading hope. You know, snakes can veil me. Do it. I want you to do it. All right. So, another secret. Enough of those. Thank you. Uh, 
This card seems a little weird this deck, honestly. Like, I, I understand we can cast it with our demo lich, but this first four copies, it's a lot of copies. All right, Mammoth is back. Oh my god, okay. Uh, Fading Hope again. It's gotta be a really good consider here. Uh, graveyard, draw. I was actually, uh, at that. Oh, we have one more life, we could do it. One more life point. Oh man, tempted by the Oryx to steal the old growth troll. Land, Fading Hope, bounce something in combat. Oh, the Secret Restoration just killed us this game. It just killed us. We have, if we need one more mana, we, win, we probably win this game. Oh, no. No. All right, so close. So close. Uh, you mean island, and I think we're good to go this game. But that's okay. That's okay. Uh, definitely uh, drawing our one blood back to this matchup, not too good for us. So we bring in our Tented by the Orc, Flunk, Grasp, four power word kills. And uh, we're going to cut Blood Pact. Cut the uh, concerted defenses, and just cut the slow stuff. And we have what? We have 4, 8, 12, 16, 17, 18, and 21, 22, 23 lands. The rest is still good against them. Uh, it does go dead, but it is good uh, when you first cast it. And worst case, just a one mana spell. I feel like the, the big squeeze this deck is just one mana spells. Just being able to like go spell, 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 demolish. Off of four lands. This is so huge. Um, I'm going to cut the Salundi Vision. You got to cut a lot of cards, actually. Like, maybe we shave a Duress? I could see cutting the Epiphanies, honestly. I feel like once Demo is in play, we should be good to go. I don't know if we need Epiphany. Um, planning, Curate, Flunk. Obviously, have a lot of removal now, which is pretty great. Let me cut, like, the Epiphanies and, like, Shave a Duress, maybe. I just don't see what else we can cut. I just want to keep every kill spell, every cantrip, and every demolish. So, like, what else is it at that point? It's 14, 17, It's 22 lands. Obviously, a little light, but let's cut the rest. Yeah, I mean, now I don't I, 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 I bring Soul Shatter either. Jeez. Yeah, you know, because Soul Shatter is so good against uh, against Snakeskin Veil. I guess the rest is good there too. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not like happy with that sideboard. I feel like we have too many cards to bring in. Uh, we can keep this. I am very unhappy with these four secret restorations. I feel like it's just it's just a heinously high amount. I guess he's playing like two. Kind of a cool card to demolish, but all right. So we draw. This is a really awkward one. We draw a disruption, but we got to make our land drops. Um. I guess we could just go land, four spike you, and then planning for a land. I guess we'll do that. Four spike is pretty good. We're just not going to play a spell. All right, cool. Let's play gaze. Oh my god. Tented by the Orc is so good against them. We don't have any lands. Uh, yeah, I'm going to draw one Tented by the Orc. And we'll go bend the other two. All right, so draw that, and then I, now we're going to go planning plus disruption. They're clearly planning around four spike, I think, so we can just do our thing. We've bought we've bought the one turn we wanted. Keep the land. Play disruption, so go. Now we have ten, Orc lined up for next turn, and spell, cheap spell, cheap spell for demolish. Perfect. Couldn't ask for more. Couldn't. And give, give me that. That's mine. I'll take that. Thank you. Now, we're, yeah, we're, we're, we're rocking and rolling in this game. All right, they have the Chariots. They have the, the best card. But I think we're still good here. Let me draw a land. So you can just go, you just go planning, planning, consider, consider, whatever. Um, don't want to put Otherworldly Gaze and try and find another Demolich, maybe? So you go, like, Gaze, Consider, Consider, rather than Planning, Consider, Consider? I think so. Power Word, Gaze, Land. Power Words is obviously great, but...
We're casting multiple considers too. I'm just gonna bet all these. Alright, and then we're gonna play consider. Curate, just bin it. Draw land. Okay. And now Demolage costs two, so we'll uh, consider again. And bin that one. Sure. Play land. And then I think I'm happy trading Demolage for Chariot, I think. Maybe not. The question is, do I want to, like, do I want to attack here and get aggressive or not? Um, we have six lands, double cantrip, power word kill, which is pretty good. Um, I think we can get a bit aggressive here, honestly. I'm not going to block the chariot. They can make their cat if they want to. We're getting it for six this turn, eight next turn. Or, I'm sorry, four this turn, eight next turn. We have to kill spell next turn. Graveyard's pretty stocked. So, Demolich, Exiling. We also have, play, we also have, have a Tented by the Orc, too. So, let's remove the two Tented by the Orcs. Kind of consider. Uh, planning. Curate. I guess another consider. So once they're able to kill this Demolich this turn, we get to go pretty bonkers. And even if they have like a Blizzard, a blizzard Brawl or whatever, like we just have multiple ways to redo it next turn, so. Yeah, I think I want all four to rest post board now I'm thinking about it. I think that might be just a mistake. Old Growth Troll, okay. So they have like troll brawl crew here. It's pretty good. Yeah, they do. All right. Uh, yeah, that's pretty gross. Uh, now we're probably in trouble. Yeah, see, Sherry, it's pretty good. I think I might have played that turn really badly. Damn, see here, restorations. Oh, uh, all right. Let's cast the curate. Start there. Infernal grasp planning. Maybe the attack was too aggressive too. I don't know. Like I don't have. I don't really have any good block. I could block one of the cats, I guess. I think I've been. I have to run trying to draw two here. Honestly, like now we're like kind of just falling behind. Uh, I'm gonna bin both of these. I think a bounce spell, maybe something like that. Blood Chief's thirst. Doesn't really kill anything here. Um, killing troll like isn't even really ideal. Would like to keep power word up for the chariot. If they have a snakeskin veil, that's pretty gross. Um. Yeah, I think we just play Restoration as a land, so go. Yeah, I think we played this game pretty badly. Um, Chariot's just so good, too. Play a Mammoth. All right. Let's play a Mammoth land crew. We're going to attempt a Blizzard Brawl. I mean, I think we need, just have to kill the Mammoth now and just take our two for one. Uh, and then we can block the Chariot. Yeah, we, we can't let this happen, so, all right. They can use Mammoth and a Cat to crew. We can block the Chariot, take a pretty big hit, but if Chariot's gone, our life is a lot easier, obviously. We might just be too far behind at this point, though, to come back. Taking eight here. Oh my god, yeah, I think we're just dead. Another Ademilich. Okay. Uh, that's a start, honestly. That's a start. Let's play uh, Planning. Okay. Um, 
Unfortunately, Tented by the Orc is awesome, but there's no real blocker to take right now. Uh, we're going to take it, but... We're going to play a Gaze and just try and find more Demolitches here, honestly. <laughs> no. Power Word Kill. Demolitch currently costs 2. If I play Power Word Kill, it'll cost 1. If I play Power Word Kill and Blood Chief, that's pretty good. I, I'm not drawing it, though. I'm, I'm, I'm just casting a stupid Otherworldly Gaze. Uh, I think we're just, like, not there. Yeah, because Demolitch costs 2... Oh, no, I can cast both of them. Maybe there's a chance here. So cast this. Play Demolich. Nah, we're still dead. Yeah, so it was like a little bit short this game, unfortunately. Um, I think I just misevaluated um, how to play this game, honestly. Uh, whatever, yeah. So, like, we're pretty close again, but just dead on board. Yeah. I think that, like, I shouldn't have attacked with the troll, and then I probably shouldn't have allowed them to Blizzard Brawl me, and then I should have brought the duresses in, too. So there's, there's many of these games all on me. Uh, so close in that first game. If we had an island over the Seagate Reborn, in this game, I think it was totally me, though. Oh, whatever, sure. Hunter's Mark? Are you kidding me? The anti-blue cyborg guard? This card doesn't see play. All right, sure, whatever. All right, so they got us. That's okay. Um... I think that game's mostly on me. Mostly on me. Alright, let's rock and roll. On the play. And... Hand's good. Honestly, Hand's very good. It seems like the biggest limiting factor of this deck is one mana spells. You know, how often can I draw one mana spells? How often can I play them on turn four by playing spell, 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 spell? This hand has that in spades. Pawn ball against a six. Um, and again, I, I kind of keep wanting this disruption just to be a land. You know, we're going to play land here and say go. And I, I don't think I even want to cast these considers. Uh, unlike Arclight Phoenix, shambling guest. Unlike Arclight Phoenix in modern, another consider. Okay, I guess we're casting a consider now. But uh, unlike Arclight Phoenix in modern, where when you you can just hold, cast your cantrips into more cantrips, we have a limited amount of one mana spells here, so... Alright, we're going to play land as they go. Um, I guess we're going to cast a consider. Or just wait till turn four, maybe. I switch, sure. Alright, so they're not playing a dispute to ramp into something here, so we can just untap and say good. Take a turn. Curate, sure. So let's uh, let's cast Curate right now and see if we're going to draw another one mana spell we can cast this to rest or not. Seagate Restoration, Otherworldly Gaze. Alright, put the Restoration in the Graveyard. I'm going to keep the Gaze, and I'm going to cast a Rest. So I can go Gaze, consider, 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 find a land, cast Emilich. So, bin this. Draw the Gaze, play land, play Duress. Hit a Planeswalker, hopefully. Uh, yeah, so Grasp, Spider Queen, Spider Queen. No third land. Um, I'm thinking Grasp here. And then we just say go. And then next turn we're casting Demolish for sure. So they draw another gas and no land. Awesome for us. Alright, so. If we draw a Concerted Defense. Actually pretty good right now, honestly. With their, with their uh, Lala. So, start with a Gaze. Hopefully hit a, hit a uh, Demolish. We did not. We're actually going to mill all three though. So I don't want any of these. And they're all spells for Demoliches. So, let's just get lucky and mill a Demolish. I'll consider. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to draw the land. We need the land. I'll just guarantee it now. Play land, play consider. Uh, another consider. Uh, I guess we'll keep that. I mean, it is pretty good. So and then play another consider. Uh, bin that one. And draw a gaze. All right, so play demolish for free. Let's take it. Graveyard's got an epiphany in it, which is great. And a Salami vision. They're gonna attack. We're not gonna block and give them a treasure, so that's fine. Let me draw a planning. So we can just cast a couple plannings here. Um, when my land drops, we can cast Epiphany uh, in a turn or two. I guess we're going to start by just attacking first and casting a Curate. Now it's actually just supposed to play the planning. 
We have Gaze, too. We have a lot of options here, actually. So we want to decide... Our, our big choice here is, like, how do we want to use Demolich? We're going to Gaze first, because if, if we hit a Demolich, we can try and kick a, cast a 1-minus spell at Demolich. So let's, let's, let's play Gaze. Uh, all bad. All bad. All gone. One, two, three. All right. Uh, and now we're going to planning... We could gaze again. But then we need to draw a land and a spell. Yeah, we'll just cast planning. And curate fading hope. Marsh, take the land. Cast planning again. Let's play Marsh. Attack a Demolich. Cast planning again. And... Duress plays pretty well here. Blood Chief's Thirst, don't really need that one, so let's take the rest. And we are, uh, we're halfway through our deck now and only have hit one Demolich, so I would say we're due. I would say we're due to find one off one of these gazes and stuff like that. Another Eye Twitch, and now they gotta stay back on defense here a little bit. Sure, so they do that, that's fine. We draw Tempted by the Auric. Uh, kind of a cute one, honestly, because we can just steal one of their blockers here. Yeah, I'm just gonna steal the eye twitch because they can get they can get a sciences and we are taking some damage here too, but this is fine. So yeah, we have uh, we can loot with the eye twitch, which is kind of cool also. So we'll just hold on to consider and concerted events and just take tempted by orc this turn. Attack, cast a. Uh, don't want to cast duress. Want to cast consider? I think it's just duress actually. Yeah, cast duress. Heh! Alright, maybe maybe we didn't need to duress. <laughs> uh, their hand's pretty duress-proof. Pretty, pretty duress-proof here. So, kill that. They get a treasure. They can cast their Skullport Merchant, which is fine. They drew a land, but it's a tap land. And they're just going to say go. They're not going to cast the Merchant. We draw a land. And now it is time for us to crank these gazes and find another Demolich, I think. So, just start there. Just play Gaze. Revealing crap. And play a Gaze. Revealing mostly crap. Uh, where are my Demoliches? <laughs> Three Demoliches at our bottom 20 cards. Um, Demolich would cost two at the moment. It would be one after we attack. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna attack and cast a, uh, just cast a Consider. So attack with the Demolich. I Twitch can attack too, that's fun. Could cast Fading Hope too, I guess, that seems pretty mopey. And we'll bin the land and draw Planning. So still no Demoliches. Um... I think I'm actually just gonna. I don't know. I guess I I, I want to conserve defense the Spider Queen if they're gonna cast that. So this is fine. Yeah. So we'll just leave our. They make a treasure here. If they draw a land, we actually. Oh no! We, sorry, we can't force Spike because Demolish is a wizard. You're a wizard skeleton. So, and we're gonna learn and discard. Uh, Our hand's pretty good. Like we we do want to dig, dig the Demolich, but our hand is pretty good. Eh, we're just this is in, this is in uh, combat. If I draw a Demolich, I can cast it. All right, sure. So discard planning, draw curate. All right, so just say go. They're gonna cast Spider Queen. We're gonna spike them with the defense, and they're gonna concede. They drew a land, but still uh, able to cast it. Spider Queen. Goodbye. Good old spell pierce. Emptied by the orc. Alright. Uh let's cast oh, I gotta I gotta cast I couldn't get actually put both these in the graveyard. This is actually insane for us. So good hit there, good hits there. Blood Chief's Thirst, sure. Attack, cast a can't they have what? One spider or two spider? They have one spider and one I mean, it doesn't matter what we cast here, I don't think. Let's just cast... Cast Curate, sure. 
play curate. Bin both of these. Draw destruction, sure. You can deal four. Play duress. Take the spider queen. Cast consider. Bin that. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Now we find him. Now we're finding him. Demolich. Yo, bro. Demolich. Four spike. Your turn. Only have 11 cards left. We finally found him. We finally found him, you know? Good news is there's no, like, lay one of the void kind of card in the format, so. All right, there's your merchant. Sure. I think, uh,. I think this is the end for you, my friend. Duress me, right on time. Right on time, four, eight, 12. Yeah, so uh, let's play a land and attack. Two, four, six, eight mana. Let's cast Epiphany. Target Epiphany again, and target a Consider. Play Consider. Uh, sure, bin that. Draw, draw same card. Yes, Epiphany, and I said, what about... Pretty uh, pretty cool use of Epiphany, honestly. Just dump it in the graveyard and find it later. So, uh, some sort of, you know, it's, it's a mono-black control deck. A uh, deck that kind of fell off because it really struggles against the Epiphany decks, but is good against creature decks. We're uh, kind of in the middle of those two, I suppose, but I would say we are definitely interested in Disdainful Stroke. Uh, probably our Hermit, too. As far as removal spells, like, they don't have much we actually need to kill, honestly. Um, like, Blood Chief's Thirst, we don't really need to kill their small creatures. Their Planeswalkers are kind of worth killing, but we have Soul Shatter. Wouldn't mind a second Soul Shatter for a second at all. So Soul Shatter, Hermit. Tempted by the Orc isn't great against them, but it, it, it's kind of cool. I mean, it's just like a, a powerful card, you know? They're gonna probably like, probably like try and duress the crap out of me. It's got some of these fading hopes. I'm not really interested in bouncing their stuff too much. And I think this is it. I mean, the one blood back's a little weird, but like a modern deck, it's kind of hard to board this deck because it's just like all of our cards are kind of need all of our cards for our engine kind of thing. So, all right, double restoration. Tempted. This is fine. You can keep this. Seem better, but duress, sure. Again, there just isn't really any graveyard hate in the format, so that's just really, really good for us. Defense. I mean, I want to keep the pathway for black, I think. Sure. I'll just shock this in or bolt it in or whatever. Say go. Just, like, gives us more options with this land later. We really want to try, try to avoid playing as on black if possible. Skyclave Shade. That's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, we're going to bin all three of these. That makes me miss my unsummons a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm going to draw Swamp. Play Pathway on blue and just say go. Sedgemore Witch. Alright, I mean, obviously Shadow's a good answer to that, but... Uh, so we're going to... Get rid of that. On summoning Skyclave Shade is not too exciting, so. Alright, I mean, Shatter You. It's funny, I think Boarding Witch could be a thing we could do too, honestly. Which would be a good cyborg card in this deck. Playing a ton of spells, obviously. It's secondary threat, doesn't use the graveyard. The Merchant, sure. Fortunately, Skyclave Shade is kind of a beating. Kind of a beating here. Alright, so we're gonna play Restoration Tapped. And I guess just like a gaze, leave up uh, concerted defense. They have a uh, 
another Skyclave Shade. Ouchie wowie. Ouchie wowie. Alright, uh... Yeah. This game uh, might not be good for us. Alright. Take four. Unfortunately, Demulich doesn't line up very well against Skyclave Shade either because we can't block it successfully. Uh, so, we're gonna Otherworldly Gaze. I guess we're considering. Planning. Yeah, uh, Skyclave Shade. Kind of the nut against us. Alright, um, let's cast Planning. Keep all of our blue up. Tempted by the Auric. I mean, stealing the Merchant would be pretty good. But it's going to be tapped, and I think we're just going to be dead before we can do it, unfortunately. I will we will attempt to do that, but I think we're probably going to die here. We can bounce one, take four, and then we can't steal it, so... Yeah, this is pretty bad. Deadly dispute in response. Hashtag value. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. So we got we got solo by Sky Skyclave Shade this game. Just straight up. Kinda of embarrassing, but Definitely a deck that um that wasn't going to see play at Worlds that much because of uh how bad it is against Epiphany, but open ladder we probably need an answer for this deck. Um I mean these are cool. I don't know what's saving us here anyway, so. Bin Hermit, Stroke. Yes, maybe we don't want the Strokes, actually. Alright, let's get to the game three here. Um, it's funny, because I tempted by the Orking, the Merchant is actually a really good answer to the uh, Skyclave Shade. So let's, uh, let's cut the Hermit, and let's cut the Strokes. Um, I don't think they're big spells are our concern. Post board. Like, it's. I think I did a mis made a mistake of, like, boarding for their game one plan. Um,. Whereas post board, they're probably much more reliant on their cheaper creatures, Skyclave Shades, and Duresses than their five, five and six mana Planeswalkers. So let's, um, yeah, we have no way to deal with the Skyclave Shade. We got nothing. Just not a thing. I guess we gotta just bounce it, honestly. And just get Demolich going. So bring the third tenth by the Orc. We're on the play now, too, so. On the play. And the rest, the rest, the rest, the rest, the rest. <sighs> Alright. Let's tap line on one. Say go. Alright, so fire away. And they have witch. <laughs> Literally all creatures. Uh, Double Witch, Skyclave Shade, Nighthawk Scavenger. Uh, absolutely embarrassing. And we have Concerted Defense Duress in our hand. Yeah. All right. Sure. Yeah, it's pretty bad for us. Uh, we're going to bin all three of these. I don't really want Swamp, so draw Marsh, okay. So we need to set up a Demolich turn now, so we just play lands, they go. Man, Mono Creature's here. Mono Creature Magecraft's coming after us. All right, so Nighthawk Scavenger, pretty good against us. We've been, we've been so many cards, obviously, but Play Gaze. Empty by the Auric. Hello! Oh, we need both these cards. We don't, have, we, don't have, have a, we don't have a land. Oh, no. Alright, so we're going to keep the little... Oh, not, and now the, uh, the Nighthawk Night won't be untapped either. Oh, man, it sucks. Alright. Uh, yeah, we got to draw both of these. So we'll draw a land first. Play on Duress also. Let's 
funny. We can just cast the demo from the graveyard for four, honestly. All right, this is fine. Yeah, stealing the, the, the scavenger is going to be a uh, pretty, pretty big game. Let's um, let's actually duress them and cast this demolition because I want to make sure that the, the the path is clear for the Nighthawk Scavenger to be good. Um, just duress them and just cast Demolich. I'm sorry, duress them, Fading Hope, the Skyclave Shade, and then cast Demolich. All right, so duress says Meetup Massacre, Eye Twitch. Okay, and then we'll bounce the Skyclave Shade. Leave that there and play two mana Demolich. Exiling Duress, Duress, Disruption, and I think Fading Hopes. I have a hope in my hand. Just shrink the uh, Nighthawk Scavenger. Alright, play land. They're gonna play Shade. They're gonna play everything. Okay. Okay, this is fine. Honestly. So now you have Tempo by the Orc. Um, Alright, so unfortunately Demolich actually has to exile the card, so if we attack, we'll lose the gaze. I don't know if we attack or not, though. I don't think we do. Just steal the Scavenger. Just say go. They have Witch Witch and the card they just drew. So they're, they're like, they're, they're all creature draw, like, is good against us in the sense that, like, we don't necessarily deal with it super well, but... They're also not dealing with our stuff either because they just have a bunch of crappy creatures in play, so. There's an enchantment in the graveyard. And now we can start casting more spells. I'm probably going to upkeep cast Gaze, honestly. A little, like, pseudo scry. And we can just, like, Fading Hope. Fading Hope, you know? Alright, so upkeep cast Gaze. Uh, should I ship all three? And draw for turn. It's an island. I mean, now we can, like, Demolich attack, bounce. Bouncing the Witch kind of sucks, honestly, because we'll take three damage. It's probably not even worth it. Uh, to bounce Skyclave Shade again. And then the Nighthawk Scavenger, I would prefer if it did more damage, but I think it's enough damage and enough life gain to be worth attacking with. I guess we just get the same by the backswing. Yeah, let me just attack. Alright, let's play land. Can flashback. Ah, uh, you know what? Maybe I screwed up. Because the Tempted by the Orc was in the graveyard. I could have recast that too. I screwed up. I screwed up. I, f I forgot that was there. Uh, so we, we should have we should have uh, not done that and just attack with Demolich and cast the Tempted by the Orc. They might have just blocked the Witch anyway, which make, makes Tempted by the Orc not good. Yeah, it's, it's tough. It's kind of 6 of 1 after the other, I feel like, but... All right, let's attack. And we're going to cast uh, a Fading Hope. Bounce Skyclave Shade. Ulrin's Epiphany. Um, I mean, that would be really good to cast, but I don't know if we're going to have time to cast it. Like... I'm just going to bottom it. We're, we're, we want to cast Tempted of the Orc next turn, so... All right, so they're going to kill Demolish. Perfect. That's exactly what we want here. So we, 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 can, we can recast it, so... Kill all your stuff. Now our Scavenger gets bigger. They're going to make a treasure. Oh, I'm sorry. They're, they're going to kill the Demolish, which is great. That much currently costs, what, two? Yep, perfect. They're going to learn for something. And then we're going to... They're going to get a Pest Summoning, sure. And then we're going to... Now we're going to have Fading Hope, the Sedgemore Witch, and then just play Demolish for one, which is kind of awesome, honestly. That's actually pretty funny. Um, this is going to be for three, because we have a Wizard and a Rogue in play, but I can't leave it up. So let's bounce this. I'm sure. I'll pay three life. Bounce that. Uh, Scribe is land on the bottom. Demolich again. Exiling. Ooh, we, we, we lose our tempted here if we do this. 
We gotta do it. I think. Do we have to do it? Oh man. Yeah, screw it up. Maybe I should have done this. Maybe I should have just uh, hold on. Yeah, we should just leave, leave the events up and counter their pest summoning if they. Nope, it doesn't work either. So they have enough mana. If we draw a land, they'll go witch plus pest summoning. Yeah, I think losing tended by the orcs too bad here. I'm just gonna say go. And you might even just cast defense just to put a card in the graveyard for a demolition next turn. This deck's hard to play. This deck's hard to play. A lot of moving parts. A lot of moving parts. Sky Glaive Shade. Oh, pass summoning. Oh, do it. Nope, but sure. Draw land. Okay. Uh, no. So if I want to... Kaz Demolich, I have to exile the Tempted by the Orc from the graveyard. I think it's still worth it. I need to draw a spell here. Like, I probably should have, like, put one extra card in the graveyard at some point. Alright, I'm just gonna do it. It doesn't feel good, but... We're definitely racing, and now we have a a defense for three here. Let's try and cast this pest summoning. All right, no blocks. We need to draw a good spell here, honestly, so we can cast cast it twice. Ugh, I drew a land. God. All right, so they're gonna get two tokens anyway. It's gonna grow our scavenger though, which is nice. But that was a good draw. Curate. Gaze duress. Uh, bin both of those. Draw four spike. Gross. Uh, three, six, nine, ten, eleven. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we, we need to draw some sort of thing that affects the board or we lose. But I think if we just sit here, we lose anyway. So I think we just have to attack. I could flash back the gaze and try and find a s interactive spell to cast off Demolich. But I've already cast... Three Fading Hopes, like our best one. Yeah, we don't much removal in our deck either, honestly. Tough little cyborg juke from our opponent. Um, or I can guess Curate and just try and draw something else that's castable. I could attempt to block the Skyclave Shade with the Demolich. Does not feel good. All right, let's just cast the Gaze. We'll go from there. Oh boy, those are good. Uh, we found the Fading Hope. Jeez. Uh, we're going to put all three of these in the graveyard. And then attack with Demolich. Cast on summon. Bounce Skyclave. Oh, they have, a, they have a Haven too. That's fine though. Cast this. Bounce that. Scry planning top. Get in for eight, gain four, which is awesome. Demolich. Unfortunately, we lose our Tempted by the Orc again, but I think we just gotta do it. I do feel like we've been, like, one spell short each this game, which is probably mismanagement on my part. We're like, we could've just gotten one more card in the graveyard somewhere. Um, Fifteen to eleven. We're gonna fire up the old Faces Haven. Alright. I mean, obviously blocking with Demolich is fine. Just comes back, you know. Three, six, seven. Let's put a, let's put a land in the graveyard too. It makes the, uh, the, the scavenger even bigger, which is great. Another haven. And a shade. All right. And a switch. All right. Sure. All right uh, let's start here. Planning. All right. Let's take the other planning. Let's plan again. Empty by the orc. God, why you gotta be so annoying? Empty by the orc. You're always in the wrong spot. All right, I'm taking. I'm gonna take consider. Now I can cast consider. Consider demolich. What did you planning? I think. 
the planning. And then... Just attack with both. Cast another Demolich. We got a 9 with... Can I attack with both, actually? I don't think I can. I need to leave blockers back. They have... We're going to be at 8. They have 2 menace attackers. We're effectively at... We might just be dead, actually. I don't know if we can survive. Do I have a... Yeah, no unsummon. Yeah, I think we just attack. I'm just planning first, I guess. Couldn't find the uh, the case unsummon. I'm gonna take curate here. We just hard cast the demolish, so. They could also learn. They have a the kill a creature lesson. Yeah, that one. Okay, I think we're dead. Uh, all right. So their cyborgy juke got us. Um, they just stack a token, exile, and kills. All right, they got us. They got us. So I know you went one and three with this deck, but I feel like there's a lot to learn as far as like playing this deck, and I don't think I was playing optimally. This deck seems really sweet to me. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it, it really attacks the metagame at a pretty cool angle and uses a, a, a resource that's not being targeted by anything at all right now. It's just like, Graveyard, just free game. It's free game. And I know, again, obviously going 1-3 kind of sucks, but they kind of just like got us the creatures. I probably didn't board right for them. Uh, I do think that I could be tuned up a lot. I think that some of the cards seem, seem bad. Uh, I would love to see Witches of a Cyborg. It'd be great. Uh, they're not going to kill us? They're going to let us live? I'm, I'm trying to do my, like, breakdown at the end of us, like, losing. Karn's upset. Uh, alright, I mean, actually, just block here, right? Three, six, seven. Yeah, Karn loves to be in videos. Thank you, Karn. Appreciate that. Something very, very exciting is happening outside right now. Chipmunk. Someone walking their dog. Just a, a, an imminent level threat. Blood on the snow. And they're gonna return probably their flying creature. That seemed wasn't I just dead? I'm pretty sure I was just dead. Um. All right. Uh, I guess if we drew like empty by the orc, we could like win. But I think we're out of those. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. All right. They got us. Yeah, I think all our orcs are gone. One. Two. Three. Yeah. Okay. Um. So yeah, I think it's like he's definitely super sweet. I think that there's a lot going on here. Um, I would love to give you my my thoughts without the dog barking in the background, but I guess we can't really do that. So, um, I will say the list feels a little off to me. Um, Sedgeborg Witch seems like a phenomenal sideboard card. Like two or three witches in the board, just the perfect kind of card to board in because it, uh, you know, traditional removal isn't very good against us, and like that card's phenomenal if it lives. We're already playing a thousand cantrips anyway. Uh, it just seems like a card that just seems really, really good. And, uh, it seems like a really, really easy one to add. Restorations were a little awkward, a little painful. Blood packs seem awful. Visions seem pretty bad, too. I understand the desire to want to have, um, a lot of spell lands, so your spell density is higher for Demolich, but... And then, like, the concern defenses seemed a little iffy, too. Like, I understand they're trying to target the Epiphany decks in particular, but, eh, I don't know. And then, uh, honestly, Tended by the Orc was insane. This card was absolutely insane. So that's card's super sweet. Deck's really cool. Deck's really cool. I'm going to work on it more. Uh, if you like Modern, you want to play Standard, or you just like Synergy decks, this is a really cool place to go. Uh, deck seems really, really cool. Again, Andre Strasky's deck. Uh, almost played it at Worlds, but didn't. And um, that's the deck. So I'm Jim Davis for CoolStuffInc.com with Karn, of course. And, I hit, that, and I hit that follow button on the, here on the cool Stuff Inc. Uh, YouTube channel. Check out the article on CoolStuffInc.com. That goes along with this video, as always. Free content every weekday on CoolStuffInc.com. And promo code Jim5 for 5% off your order. And a free Jim Davis Goblin token. That's right, one of these fancy tokens. That's awesome, all right? Love y'all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. Have a good one, folks. Bark, bark, bark. I want to be in the video. Bark, bark, bark.